first video on YouTube. This is not my first channel. This is my first uh, cubing video. So, uh, I'm Kai. So, uh, I have, I am 11 years old. Um, so, I'm just gonna get straight into the video. So, today I'm gonna be reviewing my main 3x3 versus the Rubik's Tiled weird new directory. Um, um, the reason I'm doing a Rubik's directory is well, I don't have a Rubik's directory. This is my friend's directory, and she's letting me use it for this video. She's currently not here right now, so she wants me to make this video for her. So, um, let's just get right into it. All right, so let's start out with the Rubik's Do by Three. Jesus, this is absolutely horrible. Um, my friend is just starting out with cubing. She wants to get more cubes, but she can't start out with this. I'm gonna tell her to throw this away because this is not good for her. I'm gonna tell her to get like a budget 3 by 3 like this. This is like $8. It's obviously better than this Rubik's locking up 3x3. Three three. Um, if you guys are just barely starting out or you guys are experienced, I do not recommend buying this at all. Throw it away. Just. My friend got this from Walmart. I mean, it's not that bad, but it's not good at all. It's one of the best 3x3s three three I have, not have, but used. Um, but this is like horrible. Like, it locks up so much. Like, like if you, like, turn it like that, it will, like, it gets stuck. But if you do it to this, like, there's obviously a difference. So, this is like the worst 3x3 on the market. People have their own opinions. In my opinion, this is not good. It's absolutely horrific. Horrific. Like, terrible. But, but, I mean, it's not that bad, but I have a good, I do not recommend it, but I do recommend this budget 3x3. Um, I don't know the brand. I forgot, totally forgot the brand. I don't have the box, so I can just look at the box. I do have a Pure Minx by, hold on, let me see the box. Oh, from Jiaoshi. Um, and it's better than this not as good as my main though because i do solve on this main every day and it just get, keeps getting better and better like it's so smooth it's there's springs in it no magnets at all let's take a look at the mechanism all right, look at this look at this corner this is the corner this is the edge so, um, uh, if you guys know brands that have mechanisms like this, then leave it down in the comments so I refresh my memory. So, hold on, let me put this back in. Alright, I got the corner back in. I'm also going to do a video on what non-cubers say and what cubers should never say. Like, is that a 10 by 10? Or is that the Pyramid Rubik's Cube? The pop. The bad thing about this is it pops so much. Like, never go to a competition, it pops so much. Um, but this... This is like not good at all. Like it's absolutely horrible. Finger tricking could be better. Just turning it in general. Really sandy. Feels like there's 
milk in here or water. I don't like, personally, I don't like milk. But I'm going to be doing a Q&A pretty soon on my Instagram. Go follow me at sadface with 2 dskai I'll leave it in the description. So, and my Snapchat. I don't have a Twitter, but I do have a Facebook. Um, but I need to make a separate account for my cubing. But this is not good. Not, no, this is good. This is not good. This is what I meant to say. This is absolutely horrible. It's really blocky feeling and sandy. The Rubik's Cube right there is like a tiny bit bigger. If you can see that, it's like bent or something. It feels like it's like pillow. Pillowed is where it's like a different shape. It's like a pillow. Concave is like like a divot in the layers. This is like a mix of both and it's twice as bad as like like honestly I feel like the 2x2 two two is honestly better than this because it's smaller it's easier to move around I don't have my 2x2 two two with me I someone threw it away and I got mad at them so they are not allowed in my house anymore but you guys can put in the comments which one you like better I personally, I like my mane better, obviously, because it's my mane. I would never, ever recommend a Rubik's brand to anyone, even my worst enemy. The reason I'm doing this video is because I want people to see why Rubik's should try to try a little bit harder, because I can't even kind of get a piece out. The ball core is like rejecting the pulling. This doesn't have a ball core. Most bunch of cubes don't have ball cores. I don't know if ball cores are like the thing now. I've never, I've, I haven't, haven't seen a ball core on a cube in a while besides Rubik's. For Christmas, I'm going to be getting a whole set of cubes. And I feel like it's going to be successful i don't know if that's the word like it's not gonna be like a million dollars worth but not like a painting but i find youtube as art the reason i find it as art because people can do whatever they want on here that's not like offensive or mean to anyone at all this can corner, corner twist, which is kind of annoying sometimes. My main can corner twist, and it gets locked up very rarely. It's very rare when my cube blocks up, or it pops uh, quite a lot. It pops a few times a day. But this it can't even kind of corner twist. I do like corner twist, but I feel like I'm going to break the corner off. You see into the cube. It's a white ball core. I've usually ball cores are the color of the plastic. This is black plastic. I have stickerless plastic, so that means I don't have stickers on mine. So like people can't say, "All right, just take off the stickers. Take off your stickers." This also has tiles, so this is not coming apart at all no matter what you do unless you take like a hammer to it or you throw it somewhere like that uh, but on the floor obviously but i do not recommend this rubix 3x3 this is smoother there's no lubricant or magnets it's just loose because when i first got this it was like couldn't even kind of spread apart. I like it. I like my cubes loose. I like my cubes really loose. It's weird, but I'm gonna be doing a review on my pyramids and my Mofang Giyoshi pyramids tomorrow. And this is Kai, and I'm out.